Welcome back to Access Daily with my co-host Jeannie Mai. A look at Olympian and professional snowboarder Sean White on his rise Woo! to Olympic glory in his new docu-series, The wow. Last Run. Please welcome Sean White. Our crew is so excited to have you here. Let's talk about this van. Yeah, how many people lived in that van when oh, you were training? It was, it was aggressive. It was a family of five in there, yeah. but my mom was so outgoing. She would meet people on the mountain, like kids that didn't have somewhere to stay, and she's like, well, just, just come stay with us in the van. Yeah. Oh. And I'm like, dude, scoot over. Like, yeah. like, not You're like Scooby-Doo yeah, with the van. But, uh, but no, it was the best times, for sure. Wow, I yeah. can tell. You guys looked like you didn't need, I mean, you loved it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you talked about using milk jugs for showering? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so, you know, there was no hot water. We'd pull up to, like, rest stops and find hot water. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's like camping style. So we'd fill up these, like, milk jugs. And one would be to get wet, you kind of soap up, and then the other one to rinse off. And man, my dad, you know, it was his turn to shower, basically. <laughs> and and uh, after the second jug, he's all soaped up, and my brother just turns on the car, throws on the high beams, and backs up and starts no! honking. <laughs> and he just books it naked into the woods, oh just running God. full suns <laughs> flying. And yeah, it was. So that was just like, you know, family road trip. Yes. It was the best. Never yeah. forever. Jokes, the brother, Yeah, man. the prank. That <laughs> yeah. makes it all the worthwhile. You get to appreciate it after going oh, through yeah. some stuff like that. Cut yeah. to the documentary. Mm -hmm. uh, congrats on that. What, Thank the you. last one is the name of it. What made yeah. you want to tell your story right now? Man, you know, it was fifth Olympics for me, and I had an inkling I might be retiring. It might be my last go. And so I thought, hey, let's film this. Let's, let's you know, um, you know, capture this journey and then and then you know basically halfway through making the film I realized like okay I'm gonna retire and you get to see the behind the scenes of all that and and actually the family story behind all of this which it really is a family story and so I was hyped and it, it, it came out really well but it is weird to see your whole life in like yeah a few hours yeah I remember it being longer yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> cut out a lot, remember of a lot more happening so yeah yeah is it true that your uh, gold medal was dry clean Oh man, yeah. <laughs> um, so it was after the first Olympics, it was 2006, and you know, I'm doing press events, people yeah. are putting the medal on, they're touching it, and the ribbon had gotten dirty, and so I can't find it. I'm like, where is it? Uh -uh. Like, Mom, you see my medal? She's like, oh yeah, I took it to the dry cleaners. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> she's like, yeah, I took it to the dry cleaners. It was dirty, it was so dirty. And she's like, I can't believe they charged us $5. And she, it comes back on the plastic. <laughs> And on, a, on the whole metal, I was like, why the don't you just hanger? take the ribbon off? Like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, but that was the only part she found absurd is that it was $5. Five Wait, that I can't even imagine. That is a lot for a ribbon imagine. in your yeah, mom's I guess defense. So. Yeah, so. Oh, my God. You're lucky but, you yeah. got it back, bro. Yeah, That's funny. I know. Are you going to be part of the 2026 Olympics in, like, a broadcasting capacity? Yeah, or? well, that was what was so cool is, you know, I, I finished this Olympic run, uh, this last one in China, and um, like, well, you know, would you be interested in, like, being in front of the camera and talking about what's going on, introducing the, the, the next generation of riders. And I was like, oh, that could be amazing. So yeah, I'll definitely be there, oh, hopefully man. doing that. Yeah. Fun, yeah. Man. Fun. Fun. You well, have to give me some tips. Oh man, you're, you're <laughs> gonna to kill do, it. Yeah. You're gonna kill it just being yourself. So Access Hollywood uh, caught up with Sean after he won his first gold. Mm. And we asked him, what's his best date? Here, here's oh, what you wow. said, check it out. Oh wow. But I don't know, I think like, <laughs> the best dates are just, you know, just dinner and then just kicking it with homies. Yeah? You know, just hanging out with friends, that's the best. Do you teach them and how to then, And then your whatever? friends like approve, they're all Ugh. Do you have to get the friend's approval? Sometimes, I mean, it just depends. Because if, if she doesn't like your friends, then you're just like, mm -hmm. then you can't hang out with your friends. Yeah, Yo, hey, look at that guy. hey, that's wow. real talk. He knows things. For a young dude with a um, wild wig, that was good talk right there. Wow, <laughs> wow. I can't imagine now bringing a date with just all my buddies. Right, <laughs> no. I was like, do you understand the Of course the how young I was, yeah. No, she's but just I know like what he cool, meant. so. In other words, like if your girlfriend doesn't yeah. like your friends, yeah, could you yeah. still make that work? That'd be tough. Right, for That'd sure. That'd be tough. For so sure. do your friends like Nina? Oh, love Nina. Probably more than me, which is awesome. Yeah. Like, <laughs> wait, is Nina going to be there? I was like, yeah, she'll yes. be there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I follow her Instagram account. She is oh, funny. Yeah. She's on it. Yeah, and she lives such an adventurous life. I can see yeah. why you guys have so much fun the together. The best is when we met, I was giving her tips because yeah. I just I had someone help me with my social media, oh. yeah. not knowing that she had like 24, yeah. 6, 26 million, million followers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. So How ridiculous. How uh, we were at a seminar in Florida, mm. oddly, and it was like this sort of, you know, go through your life, and it was relationship day at the seminar, and we were put in a group oh, together. Yeah, so that's random. too cute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shut yeah. up. Okay. That's Great. nice. You also had a, a cool story about Martha Stewart, right? 
When oh, you... yeah. Martha. What's up with Martha? She's the best. Um, so I was doing so much press after the Olympics. I'm barely sleeping. They got me, you know, different hours doing all sorts of things. And I show up and at the Martha Stewart show and she comes in and sees me. And, you know, like the host will come in and say hi yeah. before the show kicks off. And she's just like, she took one look at me like, you're hungry, huh? You gotta eat something. She made me French toast, like the best French toast ever. Oh my but God. It was that like, sounds awesome. And I just Martha sat got there. Yeah, the she just you? whipped it up real quick, and I just sat there and ate the French toast. I was like, this is the best ever. Oh my God. Yeah, well, so, you lived. Yeah, she she took care of me. Yeah. Damn, you must look oh real hungry for her to want to feed you. I know, right? She's like, you need to eat something. I was like, okay. That's awesome. Oh yeah. my God. Well, the four part documentary series, Sean yeah. White, The Last Run, is streaming on Max. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank right you. On, brother. Congrats. Thank you. Coming up, we're going to be telling you what to watch and bring the perfect food to go with it. Stay with us.